Are you glad packages have evolved over time? Can you imagine if our smartphones were like the bricks we carried in the 80s? And evolution in the world of packaging isn't slowing down anytime soon. And one place where packaging innovation is picking up speed is in the arena of MOSFETs and diodes. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. A limiting factor for both MOSFETs and diodes is power dissipation per unit area. And your choice of packaging can make a big difference in power dissipation. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Brian Zackrell from Vichay and I investigate how package evolution has led to new advancements in diodes and MOSFETs, including minimizing package resistance, increasing power density, and more. We also explore the benefits of using Vichet's small and efficient power pack and ESMP packages, and the migration path you'll need to keep in mind when using these solutions in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Vichet. Hi, Brian. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about package evolution of diodes and MOSFETs today. But Brian, can you first set the stage for us? Why is there a need for evolution in this space? Well, Amelia, the primary limiting factor for both diodes and MOSFETs is power dissipation per unit area. The package has become the limiting factor for improving performance of a power supply and other electronic systems. Without an improvement, something's going to explode. Due to the diminishing returns of using traditional MOSFET and diode packaging, today we'll explore the benefits of using the smaller, more efficient power pack and ESMP packages. Fantastic. Now, Brian, why is this package evolution so important? Here is an example of battery chargers using traditional package. The 5 watt phone charger is 25 by 25 by 28 millimeters for a total volume of 17,500 millimeters cubed. The 12 watt tablet charger is 25 by 45 by 45 millimeters. This is a total volume of 50,625 millimeters cubed. By introducing improved packages, we will be able to put more power into a smaller space. Okay, so can we first take a look at a breakdown of a MOSFET? What are we looking at when it comes to the resistance of the silicon and the package? Well, the internal resistance of a D2 pack can be as much as 71% of the total MOSFET RDS on with a 40 volt device. With such a high contribution, improvements to silicon performance have a minimal effect on the device performance. So when it comes to transistor outline packages and D2 pack, what are the biggest drawbacks or limitations we need to keep in mind? The D2 pack is a large device. It has a couple of factors that limit its performance. The aluminum source wires have a high resistance compared to modern silicon. There is a comparatively small area that limits the size of the die that can be used. To take full advantage of modern silicon, there needs to be a significant improvement to the package. Okay, so what about that power pack family? Can you give me some more details about that solution? Sure. Using the example of the power pack 8x8L, we can see that the silicon is able to take up a greater percentage of the package space, which maximizes performance per unit area. We've replaced the aluminum bond wires with a source clip that greatly reduces package resistance and increases the current handling capability. An added benefit is an improved thermal path to remove heat from the top side of the die. Okay, so Brian, how does the D2 pack compare with the power pack? The Power Pack 8x8L can contain nearly the same die size as the D2 Pack, with a reduction in package resistance of greater than 83%. This comes with a 60% reduction in the PCB area. An added benefit of the improved package is reduction of parasitic inductance, which can reduce switching noise and improve system efficiency. 
Okay, so what about the package contributions here? How does the power pack stack up in this case? With modern package technology, we can take advantage of the improvements in silicon. The earlier package contribution of 71% for the D2 pack has been reduced to 23% with the power pack 8x8L. Okay, so what about the other solutions in the power pack family? What kind of benefits are included here? An interesting example here is the power pack 1212. By using improved bond wireless construction, and utilizing modern technology for the silicon, we are able to take the performance of the prior generation PowerPack 6x5 and put it in the smaller PowerPack 1212. Okay, so can you explain a bit about the migration path between these different solutions? And in general, we're looking at a big improvement when it comes to board space, right? Yes. The power pack packages with bond wireless constructions are more optimized for the latest technologies. This allows engineers to increase power density. It is possible to get more power in the same space or the same power in less space. Due to the enhanced power dissipation and minimized package resistance, these packages provide excellent replacement for legacy D2, DPAC, and SO8. Currently, the bond wireless option is available in the PowerPack 8x8L, PowerPack 8x8LR, PowerPack SO8L, and PowerPack 1212. These packaging options have an exposed drain pad either at the bottom side of the package or at the top side of the package to allow better thermal transfer. Designing with power packs also requires less PCB real estate compared to the legacy packages. Using the power pack 8x8L instead of the D2 pack, engineers can reduce the PCB real estate for the MOSFET up to 60% and the power density of the final system can be increased. Okay, so Brian, what does Viché offer in terms of MOSFETs? Viché offers a wide array of MOSFETs. Today's focus is on voltages up to 250 volts, but we currently have MOSFETs up to 1,000 volts with higher voltages on the roadmap. Biche offers industry-leading technologies that have an industry-leading RDS on QOSS figure of merit. In addition to the packages already highlighted, we have other high-performance options. Here in the bottom center of the slide, we have a double-cooled power pack SO8. This technology allows engineers to pull heat from both the top and bottom of the package this provides another option to improve overall system performance. Another benefit of advanced power pack technology is the ability to integrate two MOSFETs into one package. This option can further reduce the required PCB area for a power supply or charger. We have optimized solutions that allow designs to achieve greater than 98.5% efficiency. Great. Now, earlier you mentioned Vichet's ESMP-focused technologies. So can you give me some more details about those? Diodes have many uses in power design. They have many of the same concerns as MOSFETs and can take advantage of improved package technologies. Vichet's enhanced surface mount packages have been developed to help engineers improve overall system performance. All right. So what does Vichet offer in these types of packages? All of Vichet diode technologies are available with the ESMP technology. Protection products such as ESD and TVS diodes were early adopters of the new packages. These are used in many areas of an electronic system. Anywhere there is an interface to the outside world, protection is needed. Rectifiers such as Schottky and Fred's benefit as well to minimize losses and to improve efficiency. Zeners are often used as protection or references and are always cramped for space. So, Brian, can you explain a bit more about the clip construction of this series? Sure. Diodes also benefit from the clip construction in a number of ways. This improves the current handling capability and power dissipation. The clip improves the thermal path so the heat can be better dissipated through the package and PCB. It also minimizes the resistive elements of the forward voltage drop of the diode. Okay, so 
Brian, what do you think are the biggest benefits of these ESMP packages? The benefits of the modern packaging techniques by reduce footprints and improve performance per unit area. You can improve current capacity by up to 200%. It is also possible to reduce the area by up to 81%. Okay, so to wrap things up, Brian, what would you like my audience to take away from this Chalk Talk? By using modern packages, engineers can improve efficiency and have more power in less space. If you recall, the 12-watt charger with traditional packaging was 25 by 45 by 45 millimeters for a total volume of 50,625 millimeters cubed. By utilizing advanced packaging, it is possible to have a 20-watt charger that is 27 by 42 by 42 millimeters for a total volume of 47,628 millimeters cubed. This is an increase of power of almost 70% in 94% of the volume. This provides a great example for transitioning to Viché Power Pack and ESMP technologies. Fantastic. Well, Brian, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your time, Amelia. Have a great day. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Viché. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.